At a very special event is going to be taking place on the 20th of the month. It is the Ottawa Butterfly Run. We have all the details right now. We say hello to Emily Cordonnier, who is a lost mother, race ambassador as well. Hello. Hello. Good to have you here. Chloe Benoit as well, lost mother and also a race ambassador. And it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Hello. Thank you. Um, uh, Emily, can you tell us just a quick uh, history lesson on, on this uh, run? It's only been around for three years at this point. Yeah, absolutely. It started three years ago um, with a family that wanted to start a run in memory of their son, Aaron, who had lived for 100 minutes at, at Roger Nielsen House. And there was about 300 people participating that year. Uh, last year, it grew. Uh, we, we named it the Charlotte and Teo Butterfly Run last year in honor of two children. And we had about 900 participants. So uh, this year, we're expecting about the same, if not more. Uh, we decided just to call it the Butterfly Run going forward. So uh, for some continuity, and knowing mm -hmm. that everybody is included in the event, but um, it's exciting to see how many people have come out for it and how much it means to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, it, it, it is a fun day. It's a fun day. Um, memories are shared, and I know you have some tough stories to hear uh, here to tell us. Let's start with you, uh, um, Chloe, and, and, and the picture that you're holding as well. Uh, this is my son, Felix. When I was 20, week pregnant, 20 weeks pregnant with twins, um, I found out that he had a congenital heart defect, and uh, my husband and I made the heartbreaking decision that palliative care would be the right course of action. So we referred to Roger Nielsen House then, um, and since then we've been receiving care and support. And um, after his birth, we got to take him and his twin sister to Roger Nielsen House, and we spent three days with them, just mm -hmm. loving them and spending time together as a family. So obviously then Roger Nielsen House has meant and still means a lot to you. Yes, yeah. very much. Okay, so Emily... Um, same question. You've yeah, got not totally unlike Chloe's story, actually, where I was also expecting twins and wrapping my head around what that new reality would be like when at uh, 16 weeks, one of the twins had no heartbeat. Um, and then we started finding out the remaining twin, our son Lachlan, uh, also had a congenital heart defect, although he didn't um, make it to be born alive. He, he died on actually the day he was supposed to be born, um, so he was born still, but we received a lot of help in terms of the bereavement programs, grief groups, as well as for our other two children's uh, siblings' grief groups for, for our other two kids, mm -hmm. and so Roger Nielsen House has meant a lot to him. Okay, so let's talk then, uh, Chloe, if you can mention, where does the money go exactly? It goes to the house, correct? Yeah, all the money goes directly to the house, and it helps other parents who are going through similar experiences. So it goes towards the bereavement groups, towards social workers, and towards um, special memory making and things that p families can do with their children okay. while they're there. And, and Emily, this, this run has grown over the years. Now, no. Obviously, it's good and it's bad because there's a lot of participants who have gone through loss, as you have. Uh, but it's open to anybody to be a it's part of this. It's open to absolutely everyone. It's a five kilometer. Uh, you can run or walk. The runners go first. Uh, this year, it's an exciting new location, beautiful location where they'll be running and walking along the Rideau Canal. So um, it's just a lot of fun. People come out, um, create teams, come out in big groups, all ages. People with strollers are welcome. So we just want to encourage that anyone, especially in the running community, please come out on a hopefully a beautiful Sunday morning uh, and do this 5K with us. Mm -hmm. And October is a very special month as well, correct? Why, why is October so important? Yeah, well, October is Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. That's mm -hmm. why we chose October to hold the run. Um, so all month long, we're trying to uh, raise awareness as well as remove the stigma of being able to talk about difficult subjects like this. Mm -hmm. Is there a specific amount that you're ho you hope to raise at a run like this? Our goal is fifty thousand. Fifty thousand dollars. And we are at forty thousand dollars already. Really? So we're yeah. well, that's, very pleased with yeah. that. That's good news. It's, I mean, it's, it's the beginning of the month here, so we have plenty of time to make this happen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, what about volunteers, uh, Emily? Uh, obviously, that's going to be a real big, important. Yeah, absolutely. We could always use volunteers, uh, high school students if they're looking to get their hours. Anyone that wants to come out and cheer. As I said, this was a really positive event. Um, although there's sad things that sometimes bring people to an event like this, everyone there was smiling and cheering. Uh, a lot of kids wearing butterfly wings mm -hmm. um, as they are running and walking. So if you want to come and volunteer for a really great event that will bring a smile to your face, just head to our website and uh, and you can do that. Mm -hmm. ButterflyRunOttawa.ca. Chloe, can I ask you what what is what is the best part of this day when you when you get out there and, and you're surrounded by people, good people? For me, it's the sense of community and mm -hmm. being together. When you lose a child, it feels very lonely, but attending the run uh, helps you feel like part of a big community and knowing that other parents have 
walked the same path, though it's heartbreaking, it's helpful and hopeful. Yeah. Uh, and Emily, a different location this year as well? A different location, um, yet we are meeting at the Aberdeen Pavilion um, at Lansdowne. That's where we'll hold our opening ceremonies. Then we'll head out over the Great Lawn along the Rideau Canal uh, to Dow's Lake and back. Okay. I even understand you get free bus service with yeah. us. Yeah, OC Transpo is free for all participants. And I, I do want to also encourage, you know, we've talked about lost moms and, and having runners out. Um, we also raise awareness for infertility. So people that haven't maybe yet been able to have the child, this is also a community for you. Uh, child loss, infant loss, um, it's all encompassing mm -hmm. here at the Butterfly Run. And I know there's lots of great resources as well at your website, butterflyrunottawa.ca. Uh, Emily and Chloe, thank you very much for sharing your story. And best of luck on October 20th. It's going to be a good Thanks day. for having us. Thank you so much. More daytime coming up. Rogers TV.